damn it. Hi guys, I am in a new space and if you guys watched my big announcement video, you know that I am moving. I have upgraded from a basement to, as you can see, there's natural light on my face. But obviously, in order to find this place, we had to do quite a bit of searching. I'm going to include you in on a little bit of the process. I'm going to answer most of the questions or like give you the most information after the kind of hunting footage. But I just want to set the scene a little bit before we jump in. So first of all, this process took about a month. We started searching and listing up the apartments that we were interested in. Probably we can say the beginning of April. It wasn't until April 13th that we actually started physically going and looking at these houses. And then I moved in, we finished absolutely everything, officially moved out of my old place into this one, May 1st. And now for what we were looking for, I don't think that we were too insane uh, with our demands, but basically we wanted two kind of separate spaces because Kurt and I have very different sleeping schedules. I'm an early bird, he's a night owl, and he likes to work very late into the night. So we wanted to have kind of a separate area where if he wanted to work and I wanted to sleep, we could have that separation. We also wanted natural light, obviously, and then we also wanted a big-ish kitchen. Um, that was kind of the one that we were willing to budge the most on. Our budget was basically, um, Preferably under 1.2 million. Oh, I can't, I can't do it in my head, but this, essentially you can think of it as $1,200 a month was our maximum. We would prefer to be under $1,000. And we were a little bit more lenient with a key deposit because we knew that it would be quite expensive and we were combining both of our savings. So yeah, we were willing to put more out there in order to get a lower rent. So that's what we're working with. And we basically looked at places for, I think three days total. And then we jumped on the place that we liked because we saw so many other places that we were interested in get sold. So once we found one we were happy with, we went for it. If you guys are observant, you guys might figure out which house it was. I will see you guys on the other side. Here is the tour. So we're now waiting outside of a building that looks very, very old. And the apartment that we were supposed to see looks very, very new. So we're really confused and we're waiting for the dude. But I think that he's showing us the wrong place. So stay tuned. We shall see. Surrounded by colors, it's such a sight. Watching all the lovers fall into the night. starting the day out strong we walked into the building that was actually quite nice in front of a little park he brought us into the wrong building and it was very different from what we wanted and we were like eh and so then he realized oh my bad it's on the second floor which we knew but then the people who were currently living in it like weren't answering the door so we couldn't go in so now we're going to the one that we currently really like 
hopefully everything works out. Okay guys, pray for me. So um, the place that we weren't able to see in the morning, it is now like around 4 p.m. and we're able to go see it. The real estate guy got the passcode. So I'm going, Kurt has a meeting, so he's not able to come. I am very confident in my Korean in situations that I'm like comfortable in, I guess, like in which I have practiced my Korean, but like real estate, even in English, like if I was in America right now looking at apartments, I would also be like, very very nervous to do this alone so send me your strength please talking to like real estate agents or salespeople of any kind is like the bane of my existence so let's see also after this i'm going to be heading back to that office tell that we looked at that we both really liked because the one on the floor that we were looking at the one that we saw already got sold in like the hour that we saw it there are two other ones that i am able to see but like they keep selling so they keep updating like which ones are actually available so it is very frustrating and oh, there are so many cute dogs yeah major selling point hopefully we can decide like by today because the other one that we were gonna see that's in like a different part of the city um that also got sold you gotta get them the second you see them so yeah hopefully this one is nice my only concern, I don't know if I said this already, but my only concern is that the windows are a little frosted. The first few floors of most buildings here in Korea, you either have like bars on your window, which I have because I'm in the basement basically, um, but you also get frosted glass so that people don't look in. I, guess. I don't really know if it's like a safety thing or whatever, but it's quite annoying because I like windows that you can see out of and like enjoy the view. That's the only real problem I foresee with this one. There isn't a bathtub, but like, haven't had a bathtub in my house for like a decade so it's fine fingers crossed that either this or the other floor that i'm looking at after this works and hasn't been sold hopefully i can find some korean in some like hidden part of my brain and i can do this so fighting <laughs> The house in and of itself is really beautiful. But unfortunately, because it's like a villa, it's an apartment kind of thing, we will need to buy our refrigerator and we'll need to buy our laundry machine. And they're taking, they have an oven. I was really eyeing it, but they're taking that as well. Along with the listing price, we also have to consider the price of the appliances. Whereas at the office tell, everything is combined. So bummer, the front room was amazing. If they would just give me that fiddle leaf fig, I would be sold, but they're taking the plants too, damn it. So. On to the next place, which I can't see quite yet, so I'm gonna go to a cafe and read and um, then fight for my right for housing. Let's go.
Okay, so yeah, those were all the places that we looked at and I just kind of want to give a little bit more information. First of all, where we started looking. So as far as neighborhoods go, uh, we wanted to be somewhere where it was easy for both of us to go to our workplace. So we looked up a lot of the bus routes because we're both bus people. So we had a lot of different places all over Seoul that we were willing to work with as long as it had the correct bus line. We narrowed it down to about four neighborhoods we were interested in. And then we looked at a bunch of different real estate sites. So the one I'm most comfortable with is called Jikbang, and I've used that before. I made an English tutorial for it. I'll either link it here or down below. That is a relatively friendly place to find things. As you saw, some places the pictures might be quite nice and then once you get there, you're kind of like, oh God. And I've heard other people say that they will like go to a place and then the realtor will say that the price is wildly more expensive than what it was listed. Uh, so maybe keep that in mind, but I've honestly never had that happen to me or anyone I personally know. So yeah, Chikbang is pretty pretty good and then there is dabang which oh, was just a hilarious thing they basically have the exact same listings as jipang maybe like plus or minus one or two listings but it's as if they gave someone a camera blindfolded them and put them into a room and said you have three shots take photos because the photos on dabang are so hilariously bad a weird corner of a room or like a like a sink i don't know it was just very weird so we ended up not actually finding anything on dabang but like i said there were a couple more listings on there so if you do want to check it out dabang is also there but the one that we actually had the most success with which i had never used before is neighbor budongsan neighbor real estate there were a ton more listings especially for office tells it was a little clunky like everything with naver it's like not the most user-friendly service but there's just a lot of listings especially if you're looking for an office tell so that is what we used then we ended up making a spreadsheet and you know you married the right man when he says let's make a spreadsheet because ha oh, yeah we're earth science and i ended up coming up with a list of about 20 places possibly more actually and then i would text some people and ask if things were available there were a lot of times where i would contact them and then they'd either never answer or it wasn't available there were a lot of places that were quite high on our list that we wanted to see but we couldn't go see them because for various reasons so then we decided uh one saturday sunday and monday that was going to be the time where we were going to really just knock these all out of the park go see as many as we possibly could so we spent the entire weekend going to different places i know that some people use one real estate agent and they like drive you around we wanted places all over and we wanted places like in different buildings it's hard to explain but basically we would individually call each real estate agent that was in charge of each individual property that we were interested in like you saw sometimes they would show us the wrong place sometimes like the people wouldn't be home to open the door so you have to be really patient and be sure of what you want as for speaking in korean a lot of the things that i did setting up when i was talking to real estate agents um we did it mostly through messenger so for me that was pretty fine because i'm much more comfortable writing korean than speaking it but then once i had to physically go to the houses by myself because for some of them kurt couldn't come it was okay but i definitely felt a little intimidated because i don't know a lot of vocabulary when it comes to like korean housing and rent oh my god when you talk about big numbers like once you get past chun or like Shimanan, I'm you know, I can't talk about anything. So asking about key money and stuff was difficult I would suggest having someone who speaks Korean come with you um, Or finding an English speaking real estate agent the real estate agent who is in charge of this place is actually really sweet Um, because it's an office tell there's actually the real estate office is in this building So I actually see her all the time and she's so nice There are cases where real estate agents can be kind of scary and intimidating definitely if you're using like the one person to take you around all day because you are asking him or her to sacrifice their entire day like that lump of time that they're spending with you they could be doing other things selling other houses working with other clients but if you go to a place and you just call up the real estate agent for the specific listing and all they have to do is come and like basically unlock the door and 
let you see it and then you're gone within you know 20 minutes and if you want it you'll call them um, that's a very short amount of time so they don't they don't really pressure you as much. There is still a pressure of like, yeah, please call me. These sell really quickly. This is a really hot place on the market. All that salesman stuff. Typically they won't guilt trip you like other real estate agents tend to. I definitely suggest doing the individual route, but it is much harder if you can't speak Korean. So yeah, we picked our place. We moved in. I'm so happy with it. It's funny that we initially were looking at like two bedroom places and we were really set on having like a door that we could close to separate our space but actually we love how open this is so it might be a little while until i do an apartment tour because we don't really have enough time to set this place up before we go to america for a month and then when we come back i want to get some plants my friend olivia back home is like a crazy plant lady and so she's going to uh walk me through we're gonna go to a nursery and she's gonna tell me what plants i should get for my home because we have a wonderful window we get lots of indirect sunlight all day very excited i'm very happy with this place but i'm also very happy that we looked at a lot of different spaces because we really were set like i said we were set on a certain idea of what we wanted and then once we saw a lot of different spaces um that really changed and we ended up with a place that we really love and so yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, please leave them down below. This is my, what, my second rodeo, I guess, finding an apartment here. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Thanks as always for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful day. See you later, bye.